I see how biased people are. This life. This life does not really favor women at all. This life no favor women at all. Why are human beings like this? Why do women really have to suffer in a relationship? You you all, you all, you, you guys can remember. You guys can remember when my ex-mom, my ex-mom came to um, confront reality. You guys can remember how react, reality reacted. You guys can, you guys watched the video how he shouted at me. You guys were there. You guys noticed, you, you guys watched everything. Nobody said reality did not do right by shouting at me. Oh. It was just once, once my ex-mother-in-law confronted reality. You people saw, you people saw his reaction. Now it's my own turn. His ex, every time his ex is sending me messages, sending me messages I should stay away from, from her man. I wake up, sleep in the morning, wake up, I block a number. The next thing, she will use another number and send me a message telling me I should stay away from reality. But everybody around reality is talking about his ex, asking him to go and see his ex. Me getting upset about it, it's a problem, Abby. Marriage is a very big institution, you understand? I'm going to allow you guys to watch this video to the end. This is her, her live video on Facebook where she was expressing her feelings. I really understand her that if the reason why she's reacting the way she's reacting is because of how MC Reality reacted during her own ex-mother-in-law, then it does not make any sense because you cannot do competition with a man. You understand? One thing I love is this decision that he just took. Let the reality just sort out whatever that he have. But he too personally need to understand that there is temptation that follows marriage. And he's complaining a lot. This, this person commenting this one, this one is giving him DM. I believe that if he can agree and take, take his relationship off social media, Nobody will come to the, his DM to insult him or to say anything uh, against him. Even those telling him that he's doing woman to woman, they will not have the energy to come, come to her DM. Anyway, let me allow you guys to watch the video to the end. You understand? There is a lot of comments in the live video. If I have to do secret record, you people would have seen the comments. The comments is that you should work on your anger. You understand? Anger is very, one, one dangerous something that is so relationship or marriage. Let me allow you guys to watch this video till the end. As you are watching, try to share, subscribe, give this video a thumb up. Love this video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Let's go, dear. It's a problem because I'm a woman. I have to endure everything, I be. That's what you guys are saying. You guys do not know how, how, how provoking it is. You, you, you are dating a man. The man keeps on dis having discussion about his ex. A lot of people are calling him about his ex. His family members, his friends, all, all the phone calls that come in is about his ex. And you, you are there as his present woman. You are, you, are, you are there. His present relationship, you are there watching him. You think you can take that? Yeah, but is it because it's not happening to you people? Is it because it's not happening to you people? I don't understand. People are saying I'm overreacting. That I'm overreacting that my man, my man is entertaining conversation about his ex. I don't understand. I don't get feelings because I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I should calm down. I should calm down. Can you people remember when it was my own turn? Can you remember how reality was behaving? Can you remember how I was trying to beg him? And my own was just once. It was just once. This isn't fair. Just because I'm a woman does not mean that I have to suffer in a relationship. It's not fair. We are all equal. We are human beings. We all have feelings. We all have feelings. You people should stop. I don't like it. You people should stop. Stop saying I, I should calm down. I should calm down and my blood too hot. I'm reacting because I know what I'm going through every day. If I do not love this man, I'm not going to react. If I don't love him, I'll not complain about what he's doing. The next thing some people say, why can't you allow him to go and see, and see his ex? You are being impulsive. You are being heartless. How? Just because I'm in a relationship and my man wants to go and see his ex and I say no. That makes me a bad person. This isn't fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. If it's happening to you people, people will not like it. Do you know what I go through every day? Do you know if I sleep at night? It's not fair. What is bad is bad. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I have to put up to everything. I cannot put up with everything. I cannot put up with everything. 
Ben Cash every time. Ben, ben, you people watch, go to Ben Cash page, page. Go to his page. Ben Cash every time. He keeps on entertaining conversation with this girl. Every time. You people are telling me that the ex is not feeling well. The ex is sick. He's in the hospital. That's a lie. That is a lie. It's as if people don't know. You people are forgetting what I'm into. I've made find, find this about this girl. What this girl is out for is, is to, to scatter my relationship. That's what she wants to do. That's what this girl is about to do. It's not fair now. We called Ben Cash, okay? I am a uh, reality. We sat down. We said, okay, no problem. Let's, um, let's stop every conversation that has to do with his ex. I also had to, I made a lot of effort to even stop conversation mm. with my own ex, with my ex mom. He complained about me having the contact, still being in contact with my ex mom. Reality complained about me still having, still being in contact with my ex mom. Why would I call him for, why would I be calling her for a job that I left the son? I and the son, we are no longer dating. Why am I still in contact with my ex mom in law? I said, okay, no problem. I blocked the, my mother in law. I blocked my ex mother in law. I blocked my ex. I don't even have his number anymore. I don't even anybody he said like i know how many times he told me doesn't even want any conversation that has to do with my ex or that has to do with my ex mother-in-law anything that has to do with him he does not want it which i respected him and i stopped everything that has to do with my ex i stopped it i stopped it then why is my own so hard why is my own different why is my own different you people are telling me that i have to put up i have to calm down because i'm a woman so I don't have the right to tell my man, okay, please, I'm begging you, stop any conversation that has to do with your ex because I'm not comfortable with it. A lot of people are coming in to tell me I be ill, I be ill. Say the, the reason why I decided to put up with this relationship, I decided to bring up with this relationship matter is because I, I want to use reality to cover up that I'm I be ill. I don't understand. Really? Really? Is this my first relationship? When I never tired to the drug me say I do woman. Everything, everything. What have I what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? This is bad. This is bad. People are saying, calm down, calm down and listen to your baby. Calm down and listen to I've I've been calm. Do you know how many times? Before a woman gets gets angry, do you know how, how long they've they've been provoking her? Do you know how many times, do you know the th kind of things I put up with? Do you know the things I put up with? Do you know I have, I have my own job, I have a job that I wake up to every morning. You, you guys know my job, what I do. So I don't need all this stress, it's not good for me. We are all human beings, it's not me that do unto reality. Reality no go like her. So as far as he no go like her, me no do unto me. You shouldn't do it to me. All this thing a distraction to me. I work hard every day. So I need to be focused. If I'm in a, in a relationship, I need my relationship to be peaceful for me. My relationship has to be peaceful so that I'll be able to focus with my work. I am not a lazy woman. I'm not lazy. I work hard. And I saw, I saw some other people saying I'm with reality because of his money. I don't understand. Really, I don't have my own money. That I'm with him because of, my, because of his money. Don't I have my own money? I don't understand. You people should stop. I am a human being. Some people will say, why are you checking comments? Why am I checking comments? Am I not a human being? Don't I have feelings? It's not fair now. What Ben Cash is doing is not fair. Ben Cash is doing too much. Let's say the truth. As far as Ben Cash keeps on coming to my... Keeps on coming to... So we are this house and putting up issues, bringing up the, the, the ex conversation, conversation about his ex and telling him to go and visit the ex. Is that right? It's not right now. It's not right. You should check it. It's not right. I'm tired. And I have the right to say I'm tired. If I don't like something, I have to say I don't like it. If I can't keep quiet about it, now if you say I don't like the person when I'm in the relationship with Eh? It's not good. It's not nice. I'm not okay. I'm not doing all right. I'm not doing all right. I'm not doing okay. I'm going through a lot. And I have I have a lot of things to work on. I have my job. So if I'm not happy, then how am I supposed to focus on myself? How am I supposed to focus on my work? 
this isn't fair it's not fair at all it's not fair people should stop stop putting the blame on me stop putting the blame when it was my own turn when it was my mother-in-law that came to uh, to confront reality you people still put it on my head any little thing that happens is on my head now you they put them for my head this won't happen on top of my head does it mean that a woman have to take up all the blame in a relationship it's not nice someone said your previous relationship is affecting you mentally my previous relationship can never affect me i moved on and i moved on for good that's why that's that's my pain my previous relationship can never be my problem i can never think about my previous whenever i move on i move on i don't allow my previous relationship to affect me do you understand me do you understand me so please stop saying my previous relationship is affecting me it's not it can never affect me yeah, whatever did not work look, look i'm a kind of person that i be i believe that whatever happens in my life happens for a reason everything that happens everything that happens happens for a reason that's the kind of person that i am if something doesn't work out well for me i, I just move on i move forward forward ever backward never do you understand me mm -hmm. i am not getting anybody because of money i'm not getting anybody because i'm getting i'm getting a lot from the person no i just want to be happy and if the happiness is not coming in i can't be stagnant i don't believe in being stagnant i don't believe in that some people are saying i don't have the right to come between two brothers I don't have the right to come with the, come between two brothers. How is it me that is coming between two brothers, or is the brother that is coming between our relationship? Can we all open our eyes? Is it right for my man's friend, or because they are friends, they are not actually brothers? They are friends. Reality takes Ben Cash as his brother, so they are friends. Is it right for a friend to come in between a, a relationship? Is it right? Is it a good thing to do? So people are saying I'm coming between friendship, their friendship. How? How am I coming? Am I passing my boundary? I am not passing my boundary. I'm not crossing my boundary. I'm just doing my thing. I'm just in my own lane. I'm in my relationship. I'm not telling him how to behave with his friend. I'm not telling him how to behave with his, his, his brother. All I'm telling him is, please tell your friend to stop bringing up issues about your ex. Because I'm not comfortable with it. And I'm sure every one of you here will not be comfortable with it so whenever things happens like this let us all have empathy put yourself in someone's shoe before you have to even talk just put yourself in somebody's shoe i'm not i'm not i'm not a bad person i am not i'm not even bad i'm not even bad i'm very nice i'm a very sweet soul even if any other person don't see it i know i am i know i'm, I'm a sweet soul I'm a, I know I'm a, a very nice person. I know I'm a good person. Do you understand? So if any other person is not seeing it, I don't have nothing to prove to anybody. People that knows me one-on-one, -on -one, they know I'm a very sweet person. I'm a very nice person. I believe in positivity. I don't believe in negativity. I like staying positive. That is the reason why if anything is obstructing my peace, I'd rather let go of whatever is obstructing my peace. I love reality. You guys should stop. I see some people saying you don't love him. You are just doing this because because you are trying to cover up that you that you like girls. Look, let me tell you. First of all, I'm not against people that even like girls. I'm not against it. Everybody is entitled to their way of life. I'm not going there against anybody. But if I they do, I'm going to tell and say I they do. Them. So stop telling me what I'm not doing. I know they do girls and I know they do girls. And I'm not even against the people that, are, that choose to do girls. Moon and no. Everybody's entitled to his or her life. I am straight. I'm straight. If I do girls, then why do I have ex? Maybe say the mama, the mama gone gone. She wants me to make a day with, the, with, with her picking. Why do I have ex? And the mama still wants me to make a day with the picking. If I do girls. So people should stop 
Some comments don't even make sense at all. You don't make sense. I have to just come up here to let you guys know that. Look, I'm not okay. Not be until I come out here, come they cry. They come up kata before and I go not say something pain me. You understand me? As I they talk like this, I'm heading to, I'm going somewhere to walk. I'm going somewhere to walk. I wake, I sleep. Most of the time, I don't sleep. I sleep very late at night. I wake up very early to walk. So I need to be focused. My mental health matters a lot to me. My mental health matters a lot to me. I sleep very late. I wake up early to work. There are a lot of people who have issues and need me. There are a lot of people that I talk uh, that, that I talk to morning, afternoon, and night. I take care of. So I need to be, I need to be okay. I need to be okay. Look, for both those of you that are saying that I to the vex, I to the vex, I to the shout, she understand. It's okay. I agree. But let me tell you something. Before person go vex, to even shout on top of her voice, it's for her voice. May you not say that person don't that person don't condone that thing. That person don't bear up. So they, the person don't feel bear up again. Do you understand me? Me and Sabi be something, you know, like if you do something to me, I'm a kind of person that I'll keep quiet. I'm a very quiet person. If 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 I'm in a particular place, right? If I'm in a particular place, you always see me on my own. I don't know how to gist. I don't know how to discuss. I just stay on my own. Now when person don't overdo, now nah, they vex. I know they vex anyhow. I know they vex anyhow. I don't know how to get angry too fast do you understand you go don't match me match me so that i know if you take come again now i go talk that's the kind of person that i am so those of you who just see how i get angry you say i'm not supposed to get angry we are all human beings so don't say that that's wrong that is wrong that is very wrong i have the right to be angry when my mother my former mother-in-law confronted mc mc shouted on top of his voice he shouted at me people were there you people, you people saw it sorry you were not there but you people saw it you watched the video if you did not watch it go back and watch the video mc shouted on top of his voice he was shouting yes when i know see that one when i know see say you overreact Now my own Now my own way say i don't be around i wake up every morning the same phone call before i go to bed the same thing any messages entering his phone the same they're talking about x x x x i thought x is supposed to be in the past it's supposed to be the past is the past not supposed to be past please help me call julia julia is supposed to come meet up with us here is the past not supposed to be in the past is it not supposed to be in the past are we supposed to talk about our ex uh, if i'm if i talk about my ex and keep talking about my ex and keep on um i keep on having um my ex-mom contacts and she keeps calling me to talk about her son is he going to be happy mona they asked on herself is he going to be happy young girl is he going to be happy he's not talking you think who he is you didn't talk now you are asking me is he is he with me instead of you tell me that you are following us but are they bash on you can you start on me? What's she saying? Are you done there? I'm going for a shoot too. Guys, it's not about forgiving him, okay. right? All I'm telling him to do, I'm telling him to take his time. Are you, are you planning to go with her? Let him take his time. He should take his time, sort out whatever he has yeah. to do with his ex. My own 
point Hello? for those of you that are saying that i'm breaking up with mc i am not breaking you up see, i didn't tell him he's over Were you planning to i did not tell him it's over all i told him oh. was that please that. That please time. let him said, take his me. time and sort out the issue he's having with his ex so that once we are back together all the conversation about his ex will be over with that's what I told him. I didn't tell him it's over. I didn't tell him it's over. I only told him, okay, I'm going to go, go to my house. Please take some time. Take some time and sort out the issue you have with your ex. If you want to go see her, it's okay. Go and see her. Then choose what you want. That's the only thing I told him. I didn't tell him it's over. I didn't tell, I, I didn't tell him it's over. I only said, take your time. Take your time. Then do whatever you want to do with your ex sort out the issue what's that julia you don't talk to me. julia did that dog to side hey, she didn't tell me now she said if we are coming i should yeah, let her know she's calling you then what's she going to do me. now let's let's go now let's go no if you go carry on for that place oh. no fit now don't pass or don't pass so i didn't tell him it's over guys i didn't tell him it's over i only told him please let it not be a thief i am stopping you from listening to ben cash you have the right to choose what you want for yourself that's what i told him you have the right to make your own decision may not be saying i mean they make decision for you so make i come out for your house that's what i did i left his house i told him take your time do whatever you want to do that's what i told him so guys i beg i know till i'm saying it's over because some people are saying Hey, I always like saying it's over, it's over, it's over. I know tell him it's over. Mona no misquotes me. If you know they watch video, they listen to the video. Mona, go back. Go and listen to the video. I never said it's over. I said, please, I am leaving. Take your time. Sort out all the issues that you are having with your ex. If you want to go and see her and have a discussion and tell her that you, you are not interested, okay, go and do that. That's what I said. That's what I said. I never said it's over. When I know they judge me like that, it's not. It's not fair. It is not fair. I am going through a lot. It's not fair. It is not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair.